I have imposter syndrome. I'll, I'll say that right up front. So yeah, me to too. me, I would look around. And, yeah, I think a lot of us in the business do. Yeah, but yeah. I would look around saying, I'm a kid who grew up in Northeast Philly. How is it that I'm doing this? So yeah. what do you ask yourself in those moments? Yeah, exactly. Um, well, you said it. I mean, I actually just finished reading a book on imposter syndrome. And I think maybe because I don't look and sound like, as you know, the majority of the people who do this, uh, it was pretty intense last year. And then on top of that, the, the Philly fans really sad that you left, which I completely understood. And in addition to losing the guy who'd been the voice of their team for 27 years, now they've got to adjust to listening to a chick who they've never heard of before. Um, and I understood that frustration or dislike or whatever it was, but it obviously didn't make it any easier for me looking around and saying, okay, I don't look or sound like anybody who I'm seeing in any other city. 